Google Drive for desktop tutorial, how to use Google Drive. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can use Google Drive. So let's get into it. Now to get started with Google Drive, I will simply head on over to google.com slash drive and we can click on go to Google Drive and this will automatically take us to our Google Drive. Now, a lot of people don't even realize the abundance of features that Google Drive can provide you with other than just storing your data. Now, one thing that you can see is that you're going to have a My Drive section, then you have a Home section, which will display all of your recently uh, viewed files, and then you have your Computer section. Now, if you take a look at your Computer sections, you can actually see folders that you've synced up with your computer, and folders on your computer can be synced with the drive over here. So. After that, you have a shared with me section that will display all of the videos that have been shared with you, a recent section, a starred section, a spam section, as well as a trash section. So let's say if we have anything that is repetitive and you have, you know, unnecessary items, you can put those on, on in span. And then if there is an important file, you can star it. Now going back to our basic drive, you can click on new on the top left to build your folders and files. So you can build a hierarchy of files or maybe a segregation of files. Let's say I have um, info about my finances. I would create a separate folder for finances. Then you can click on finances over here and then click on new. From here, you can click on file upload or folder upload, depending on whatever kind of data you have. I'm just going to take a random file to upload just as a reference and you can upload your finance related info over here now other than that you can even create subfolders within one folder so if i have my finances over here i can click on the finances and within finances i can build two sections called personal finances and then may we might have business finances like this and then you can move data accordingly into those separate segregations. Now, a lot of people don't even know this, but Google Drive also allows you to create your docs, sheets, slides, and forms and to store them directly in a specific folder. So let's say I want to build a Excel sheet for my personal finances. I can open up my personal finances folder over here. Then I can click on new on the top left and then click on Google Sheets. This will open up a empty Google Sheet for me, which can help in saving my data so let's say this is going to be my personal finance for finance for december like this and then i can you know insert my data whatever data it might be you know whatever your data is and then you can just you know replicate your data like this you know whatever is your actual data you can use it fully like you would use a normal excel sheet and then once you have created your Excel sheet, you can click on file and then you can import this into your Google Drive. So you can go on ahead into your drive, click on finances over here. So now I can open up my folder of choice. So let's say this is my personal finance and I can click on personal finances over here to, you know, add the file into this particular section. You can also, uh, you know, import files from there. You can export your files over there. You can also click on download and download this to your uh, desktop as well as add a shortcut to access this from your drive. So if I want to add a shortcut over here, I can add that. And now my shortcut has been added into Google Drive. Now, as you guys can see, this untitled spreadsheet, if I refresh my page, it's going to, you know, rename this. So finances and personal finances. So you guys can see this is the file that we created. And I even created a shortcut directly in the finances folder. Now, this can help you in categorizing your information and building hierarchies. And you can easily store all kinds of data on Google Drive. And you can create your Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, and more directly on Google. So if I want to build a template from Google, so if I want a template-based data, uh, I have some basic data I want to store, then I can go into Google Docs over here in the Create section, and I can start creating with Google Docs as well. You can do pretty much the same thing in Forms, Maps, Google Sites, Script, and more. You can even click on Connect More Apps over here to be able to 
expand the accessibility of your Google Drive and to be able to do even more. Now, another feature or capability that a lot of people don't realize that Google Drive has is to be able to actually help you in managing all of your tasks and doing all of your stuff. So if I go on ahead and go into our Google section over here on the top right, you can open up your Gmail that is associated with your drive and you can go into your Gmail over here and on the right panel, you actually have tasks over here and you can start adding tasks that are related to your Google Drive in two tasks. And if you click on the top right over here, you have access to all types of Google tools as well. Now, if you take a look at your home drive over here, certain bits of data can be super important. So let's say we have a file that is super important like this one. You can click on that particular file and you can go on ahead and click on these three dots. And you guys can see you can open this with Cloud Convert, preview this as well as just make this a starred item. So you can star this item to make it more highlighted and you can easily access it in the starred section. Now, going back to our drive over here, there might be certain data elements that you might want to share with other people. So to be able to see which items are shared or not, there is an icon on your folder itself. So if I want to share this with another person, I can just click on the file or folder I want to share. Now, keep in mind, if you share an entire folder to, with one person, they will have access to all of the files present within. So to share this with other people, you can click on share on the top left and add those people by their email address. Now, if you add people, you can choose what type of permissions they have. So if they are added, so let's say we have, um, we have this mail over here. If I add this person, like so... Now, if I want them to be a editor, a commentator, or only a viewer, you can choose the permissions and add them accordingly. Now, another way that you can share your files is also by creating a copy link. So if you click on copy link and click on manage access, you can choose general access. So anyone with the link, so anyone that receives a link for this file can either be a viewer, commentator, or editor. Now, this can help you in sharing files that you need to dismiss across your entire business or across your entire class and can easily help you share notes or tidbits from the meeting or just general information that needs to be accessible for everyone. Now, after that, you have some more capabilities with Google as well. So you can always organize your folders on the basis of colors like this to make it easier for you to denote what type of folder it is. So you can denote all of your work-related folders in one color and your personal folders in one color as well. And then if you take a look at your file information, this can help you in noticing all activity that has occurred within your Google Drive. Plus, you can also move files later on and then download them whenever you need the data offline as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Google Drive for your desktop. If you did find this helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if there is anything I missed out on or or anything else that you would like to know, leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.